high-speed chase whips through Sheboygan County, police ID overdose victim, DATCP offers Cyber Monday security tips. These stories and more on this edition of Community News Review. This is Community News Review, a service of WSCS-TV, news content provided by WHBL. I'm Maddie Fister and welcome to the Monday, November 26, 2018 edition of Community News Review. The Sheboygan County Sheriff's Department has launched an investigation into a high-speed chase on I-43 Sunday night. It started around 8.20 when deputies got a report out of Manitowoc County of a vehicle heading south at a high rate of speed. Sheboygan County picked up the chase, which continued to the Ozaukee County line. They did try spike strips to slow down the, or stop the car, but they were ineffective. There is no word on why the vehicle was being pursued by Manitowoc County at this time. Sheboygan police have identified the overdose victim found in a crawl space at a home on Michigan Avenue this week. The body of 30-year-old Matthew Merker was found hidden after police got a report of a potential overdose death. They arrived on Sunday to investigate and did not find anyone and left. Then later, they received a tip that someone may have concealed the body, and when they returned, found Merker's body hidden in a crawl space in the home. A 29-year-old woman is in custody, and police are asking the public to contact them if they have any more information on this situation. The busiest online day of this season is upon us. Cyber Monday, a day online retailers devote to deep discounts on some of the most sought-after gifts for the gift-giving season. While many places have tightened security and checked it twice in preparation for the millions of transactions that will take place, the Department of Agriculture, Trade, and Consumer Protections, Jared Albrecht, says that you need to still guard your personal information. One of the more recent scams involves an offer where what looks like a free gift card, one of the most popular gifts of the season, Albrecht tells WXPR Radio in Rhinelander it could come in your inbox or through social media with an offer for the card at the end of a survey. We want people to be very leery on those types of things. In some situations, the survey may be looking to harvest personal information, he says. In other situations, you may be clicking a link that is going to take you to a malicious website that will infect your computer. Anything gift card related is a ploy that the scammers will try to use, he added. Other scams can happen after your gifts ship in the form of a phishing message appearing to be from the U.S. Postal Service, UPS, or FedEx. Albrecht says in this case, the scammers will try to tell you that there is a problem with a recent order, and they will ask you to open a link or attachment to find out more information. Those are some actions that will probably lead you to download some sort of malware. Industry analysis are expecting some $7.7 .7 billion in online transactions will take place this Monday. Once again, tech gifts are expected to drive the market with deep discounts on items like TVs, gaming devices and computers, smartphones, and home tech items, such as smart TV adapters and Amazon Alexa devices. And with online shopping season starting, make sure your deliveries are not going to be stolen from your porch. Officer Tyler Grigg with Madison Crime Stoppers says, if you are expecting something expensive or electronic, it is best to make sure it is not going to sit out too long. We really suggest that you have your packages delivered to your work, or you can even schedule specific delivery times that you will be home. You can also have your packages held for you at your local post office. 
on your way home from work, just swing by the post office and pick them up so they are not even delivered to your residence. There is a good chance you won't see the worst of the latest round of wintry weather. The National Weather Service is leaving a blizzard warning in effect for Racine, Kenosha, and southeast Walworth counties through early Monday morning. And there is also a winter storm warning in effect for Milwaukee County until the same time. Forecasters say how much snow you get depends on where you live. The Weather Service says while folks in Kenosha could see a foot of snow, folks in Waukesha could see less than an inch. Many schools in the area are closed or delayed, and this is the upper edge of a blizzard that stretched as far south as St. Louis and Omaha. Chicago has been heavy hit by the poor weather. Many connecting flights into and out of O'Hare Airport are canceled. <clears throat> the Catholic community in Wisconsin is mourning the loss of one of its leaders this weekend. Bishop Robert Morlino suffered a cardiac event just before Thanksgiving and passed away Saturday night, according to a release on his Facebook page. Officials with the Catholic Church says that he died at St. Mary's Hospital in Madison after suffering the cardiac problems on Wednesday. Through various statements on Facebook, officials said his condition was improving on Thursday, then later posted that they were praying for a miracle and that things had taken a turn for the worst. Morlino was 71 and funeral arrangements are still pending at this time. And that is our report for this Monday. Join me again on Wednesday for another recap of our local news on Community News Review. News content for this program provided by WHBL in cooperation with WSCS-TV.